June 2012, I defended my PhD dissertation entitled Risk and Social Preferences of Individual Investors. There were a couple of research questions that I investigated in my thesis. And one of these is actually whether socially responsible investors are more loyal to their bank than are conventional investors. So what, what I find in that uh, research is that those investors with a strong preference for socially responsible mutual funds are actually more loyal to their bank than investors with a weaker preferences for these funds. What I also show is that these investors generate substantially more revenue for a bank. And an alternative explanation would be that these socially responsible investors might simply have less knowledge about outside investment opportunities or maybe they have just less money. But that is actually not the case. I control for all these factors and I still see that investors with a stronger preference for social responsible funds are more loyal to the bank. So in a way these investors are actually quite attractive for banks because they will stay for a long period and they will invest a large share of their money at the bank. However, I find in another paper where I do not look at the clients of purely socially responsible banks, but rather at the clients of a mainstream bank, that their investors who hold a social responsible fund are more likely to leave the bank. So it is actually the opposite. So what explains the difference between these two findings? I think it's that with a socially responsible bank, it's actually easier for an investor to identify than with a bank that offers both some SRI funds, but at the same time, it also offers a lot of conventional funds. So the conclusion for banks and mutual fund providers is that they can profit from increased loyalty from their social responsible investors, and they can also generate more revenue, but they have to make sure that investors can actually identify with the bank. So in that sense, for a big bank, it might actually be much better to have a small daughter company that is purely focused on social responsibility than just to add a couple of SRI funds to their already existing menu. In one of the other papers, I investigate which types of social responsible investors there are and I can actually distinguish between two types. On the one hand, there is the intrinsically motivated type, so they buy social responsible funds really to contribute to a better world or to improve the environment. But on the other hand, there is a type that buys these funds because of extrinsic rewards. So they actually just want to make more money on social responsible funds than on conventional funds. And there can be several ways in which they could earn more money on these funds. For instance, there is some research that shows that companies with good employee relations or with high eco-efficiency scores actually outperform other companies. So that might be why some investors believe if I invest in SRI funds, I will actually get more money than if I invest in regular funds. And on top of that, the Netherlands offers some types of socially responsible funds that offer tax benefits, which of course can also be a financial motivation to buy these funds. And I think that actually for uh, banks, it's quite important to distinguish between these two drivers. So uh, intrinsic motivation on the one hand and financial rewards on the other hand, because um, their advertisement, of course, can uh, specifically target these different uh, type of investors. And where for the intrinsically motivated, it might really work very well to give them uh, magazines in which you stress the social impact of your social banking. But for the uh, financial types, it might be good to actually advertise with the tax benefits that exist on, uh, on these different types of investors.